Okay, I want to show you a quick, easy way to eliminate the vignetting in your stacked astro images. It's real easy. So if you have a stacked image ready to go, uh, follow along. First thing I want to do is duplicate my background layer and then adjust the curves on this copy of my background layer. I want to darken this up to the point that I'm satisfied with the overall uh, color of the background. And that looks pretty good to me. So we're going to go with that. With that done, I'm going to zoom right in here. We're going to apply a layer mask. Okay, with that layer mask applied, make sure you have black selected as your foreground color and grab your, your brush tool. Um, with your brush tool selected, um, I prefer a setting, an opacity setting of about 25% and a flow setting of about 75%. So with all that done, I'm now gonna go in and start painting out my nebulosity in this image. All the dust clouds, the, the main light source, Okay, when you do this, you really don't want to go out past the edges of your, your subject. You want to stay within the bounds of your subject. Grab a bigger brush here. here that I didn't want knocked out of the image so we'll bring that back in and this is one of the reasons why I like an opacity setting of about 25% um, working this area here I, I don't want to just blast the uh, the area away I kind of want to work it work it out a little bit it blends better when everything's said, said and done. Um, you'll see why in a minute here. Okay, we have some over here to take care of. I'm going to hit a couple of these stars. Okay. Okay, with that done, <clears throat> and your layer mask is still active. You want to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and you want a setting just high enough to blend the area areas that you just worked out you don't want it to look 
like you went in there with a paintbrush like this and knocked all that out of there so you just bring the, the, the pixel radius up to a point where you have a nice blend my computer's running a little slow tonight you don't want to to jack it up too far because the the further you bring this up the more blurring that's going to occur and it's what's going to happen is the areas that that you painted are are going to uh be blurred out past your subject and you're going to bring that lighter um, under layer back into the uh, the image okay and that that looks pretty good to me so we'll go with that now if you're not happy with the results I mean I think this looks pretty decent there's still a little bit of a gradient in there there's some areas that, that could use darkened up a little bit um, Let's take a look here. So this is before, this is after. Okay, if you're not completely happy with the results um, and you still have some vignetting or uh, some discoloration or some radiation left in the image, uh, just merge that down and make another copy of your background layer and go through the process again. Um, adjust your curves I mean you can take it way down if you like right there at the layer mask grab the paintbrush come back in visible back out this image here by the way was captured with a Canon 7D and a Tamron 300 millimeter lens Uh, no telescope was used here. Um, the camera was mounted on a Celestron uh, AVX mount. So the tracking, um, I didn't use a guide scope or anything on this image. Um, just utilized the, uh, the mounts tracking quite impressive really you take a uh, 300 millimeter lens and an off-the-shelf DSLR and capture amazing images like this Any stars that, that you want to show through, um, you also want to hit them up.
Okay. Connect the filter. Blur. Gaussian blur. Blur up again. Now th this is a little dark for my taste. So I'm basically, basically just showing, showing you that you can do this over and over again until um, you reach your desired effect. Um, and then you can also um, so in the, the case of this layer here being a little bit darker than, than I prefer, you can you can also work with the uh, the uh, blending options a bit as well. Um, there's a lot of other things that you can do to to add to your um, your astro photos. Let's try pen light. Yeah, it's nice. Let's go with that. Happy with those results. As you can see, the uh, the little bit of uh, vignetting or radiation that was left um, has been knocked out by going through. Uh, that one more time um, so I'm just going to merge that down and save the image and I'm done alright thanks for watching guys till next time peace out